Dude, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. This is A1. This is Good morning, Nom Nation. It is 5 a.m. and we're going down to El Slamo. You coming? Pretty savage right now, boys. This is kind of heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. Do you a thrasher? Why is this guy up at 5 a.m.? Honestly. <laughs> Dude, I just saw a crazy barrel at Slamo. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's not quite as big as I thought it was gonna be, but maybe I'm just having like mental problems, like, because <laughs> it's bigger than it looks.
right guys, not gonna lie, uh, paddling out or coming down here this morning, I had way higher expectations for the surf. But uh, went out anyway after I saw it all chunky and uh, I had a ton of fun. So that's one thing about surfing and life, a lesson that we all need to keep in mind. You arrive at the scene of whatever you wanna do and it's kinda letting you down, just go for it anyway because I went out there today and had so much fun and El Slamo was pretty much nuking. I thought it was gonna be clean barrels, but there was still something to be had and uh, I had a blast. So heading back to the house right now. I gotta go to Philadelphia with the fam and then later tonight there's gonna be more waves. So fam trip to Philly is gonna be heavy. Let's go. What's it about? Waking up at 5 a.m. for Slamo. Always. <laughs> That's heavy. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Yes, yo. What's up? Dude, you can't be this legendary, dude. I don't know if it's legendary or just like heavy savageness. How old are you? You look young. Mm, not. Dude. <clears throat> watch out, watch out, watch out. Come on. Where are you going? Wow. Can I come? Yeah. What's up? Going to Philly. We're going to Philadelphia because uh, my mom has this thing where she schedules multiple doctor's appointments per week, per month, and per year. And she schedules them for a grief. And she's very uh, elusive about the first name. And then she just plugs us in whenever she feels like it. So today she trapped three of us. And uh, we're going to get our throats checked out. But uh, I mean, it is a, potentially a health problem. You guys have like 30 seconds to plug yourselves. Go. We don't plug. We unplug from the system. How do you feel about life? Gee, give us like your deepest belief. I feel like I'm swimming in a sea of beer and all I can do is just drink. Like open my mouth. You know, I don't want to come above the water. That's your belief? I hope not. <laughs> no, that's yours? No. You got what I'm saying? That's, I said, let's hear G's weird. deepest belief, and that came out. <laughs> Does he represent you? No. So, what's your deepest belief, G? Oh, uh, I'm not talking. Well, my deepest belief is that everybody should do exactly what they feel like doing as long as it's not negative or bad at all times. So, I shouldn't go to this doctor's appointment. <laughs> Mom, what's your deepest belief? That love is the answer to everything. That's my deepest Why belief. Why is she rolling her eyes? Uh, because she doesn't always love when she gets involved with these male figures. She likes the sensation. Oh God, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> There he is, the legend. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? What's up, what's up? How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> you know my daughter, Jim? Right. Oh, the whole crew. Right, <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay. That guy was at this parking lot every knee appointment when I went through my surgery and the recovery and everything, and trust me, I was here a lot. He's the man. Parked us every time. Now he's like the boy, yeah, part of the fam, pretty much. Show and they had no parking spots and our truck pulled in and he waved us no 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 and then he realized it was us and he said oh I'll get a spot for you so he's the boy you just gotta give a little to get a lot why you, why you know if you know what I mean with uh, swallowing, food sticking, anything like that. Are you moving your bowels okay? Yeah. He ain't moving much out of there, brother. I eat a lot of wild <laughs> chili. Oh, what about you? That'll, uh, no, I don't have any problem. That'll give you... Yeah, but that'll give you reflux. Looks like he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost insulting for the dog to ask if he's having trouble real. eating. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. All right, if you guys remember, Jordan works in Philadelphia so happen to be about six blocks away so here we are the one and only 
Jay Verney. Oh, so Why? Because I saw you. Hi. 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 Where do you want to go? Here we are down on the beach at El Salamo. Tide's coming up. Tide's pretty low right now, but we got the squad. Jack a little. What's up, guys? What are you claiming? I don't know. Claiming it looks like it always does, but somehow we'll get something. Look at that go. It always looks bad till you're out there. Fresh yeah, off, the, fresh off the boat from Armenia. Yeehaws. What's the claim? I think it's gonna come up. I think we're about to be out there. Dude, yeah, it's on. So the boys, Skeleton Bay's even got a couple rolling through. How's this thing? What? Come on now. Look at that. Perfect barrel. Dude, if I was you, I'd get in there and shoot some mini ledges. You see those fucking things? Oh, how's this right? Make that a left. Boom, backside rotator. What? Dude, it's gonna get good. Oh my. Dude, out in the middle of Skeleton Bay. So we're on it. Uh, pretty much just a waiting game, but we're down here, we're ready to rip. Phew.
jackass. Guard coming to El Slamo. It's kind of rainy. Watch this going fast. And the tide starts going out and just like. Let's go, let's go.